The first time that I met Freddie Bruner was when we began the bridge five years ago. And um, she was working on the prayer team and I was one of the co-leaders of the Sacred Space team. And my first experience with Freddie was more, um, people always say, be careful how you act, you never know who's watching, was just watching Freddie and seeing how uh, she worked with the prayer team as we began to establish the bridge, those first services, how she worked with each one of the teams. How Freddie became the one for me was really by watching her, by listening to her, by having her pray for me, um, by talking to her about the struggles that I had, um, what I thought about the future, where um, I thought I might could be best used, and then her giving me the advice to pray to God about it, pray this way, um, and then having her put her hands on me and, and, and pray for me that way. Um, it was a completely different prayer experience than I had ever, than I'd ever had. At the time, too, when I met Freddie, I was also having some medical problems that I had broken out in um, just spontaneous hives for whatever reason that we're still not sure about. Um, and I'm pretty type A personality and uh, can be high strung. And the more upset I got about it, the worse the hives got. And then, um, and I remember distinctly that Freddie one night after design team sat in a chair and put those hands on me and she said that we are going to claim this illness and we are, know that God is going to fix this and that the doctors are going to figure out what this is and you are going to have relief and calm is going to come to your life. And I believed her, you know, I could feel that through her and those hands on my shoulders that I had this just release of God is going to take care of it and, and I think that was really a turning point in my life of things that I need to let go of whether it is as small as I have an allergic reaction that needs to be turned over to God and that needs to be released and I need to be released from that. Um, the times maybe that people have prayed for me before have been somebody saying, well, I'll put you on our prayer list, or um, I'm praying for you about this. But this was a first time experience that I had somebody that sat down, put their hands on my shoulders, and prayed specifically for me with the confidence that God was going to fix this, God was going to heal this, and God was going to take, take care of it. The first thing that I would say about people wanting to, trying to be the one for somebody else or somebody allowing someone else to be the one for them is that very first impression that I had of Freddie is do it by your actions. Um, I didn't know who Freddie was, didn't know that we would have a relationship, but I saw when she prayed over every chair, when she prayed over um, the IT station, when she prayed for um, the sacred space team, when she prayed for the pastors, when she prayed over the microphones. That was an example that I was watching. So be an example. Use your actions because you don't know who's watching you and you are being the one for somebody whether you ever know it or not.